you know, it, they are so raw right now, all of them. Uh, our, our wide receiver position is one that has got to, got to improve overall. I think we've got two, ex, two potentially explosive guys, but, you know, and it's just going to take a lot of hard work. we got some guys that I think have potential to, uh, to be very effective. Uh, uh, the offensive line from, from start of Monday till the, the end of the week is the one I was most pleased with because um, in, in, any, in any form of football, I don't care what you're running, uh, if your offensive line uh, is is not performing well, nothing's going to perform well. I was really pleased with the way that they did. I'm really pleased with the job that Coach Norton is doing with them. A um, little depth at running back we have. We had uh, uh, Zuri Buchanan just moved in here from Duncanville, who will be a, a nice addition to our football team. Uh, but the big the big thing from from a standpoint of this team is, you know, what I tell them is the you know, the definition of discipline is doing it the right way, do it exactly the way you're told to do it the very first time you're asked to do it. And uh, that's something that's been a little bit of a calling card for this team so far is that they're very willing to listen and, and be coachable and do the things that we're asking them to do the first time. They don't always do it right, but they're, they're really attempting to do things that we're asking them to do and buy into to my system. We just started spring ball, so I, I, I'm still – my evaluation of them overall and just evaluating athletes here in in Marble Falls is that is that we're that we're not very confident and and there's no reason that we shouldn't be I think sometimes uh, uh, we we look uh, at the numbers that we have and we look at the numbers that, of the teams that we compete against and sometimes you know you know kids listen to things from the outside and they say well you, you've only got 1100 students and they've got you know 1800 students and it's gonna be hard well you know, I, I don't buy into that. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, it's not the what you do, it's the how you do it. And uh, our players, and that's part of my job and part of our coach's job is to infuse uh, confidence into them. I, you know, I think that uh, there are certain players as we go through the week, uh, we went through the week, they gained a lot more confidence because uh, they were making football plays. Uh, but one thing that I, that they're learning how I am, and I tell, tell them all the time that, you know, like the offense started out the, the, the scrimmage really hot the other day and scored on, you know, in three plays. I think they had two touchdowns in the first five plays of the scrimmage. And I told them, I said, you know, um, when you do well, that's when you you, you, uh, you just got to – you kind of get into a feeding frenzy. You don't think you arrived. You just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. You can't ever think – you know, get too high with your highs or too low with your lows. And then, you know, defensively, our defense really came on as the scrimmage went on the other day. But they, you know, they were – getting handed to them a little bit. I said, we're never going to panic. You know, that's the one thing that I want them. One of my pet peeves is on a Friday night on the sideline is that, is that you know, a game is 48 minutes long, and it's long and it's hard. There's a lot of ebb and flows, and there's a lot of ups and downs and adversity and that uh, that you put on another team and adversity that's put on you. And uh, I'm going to make sure that this football team is one that just doesn't just fall apart, you know, when something bad happens. You know, you can – the only way I know how to do that is just keep telling them, keep telling them, keep coaching it into them.